But there's no fairy tale about the little devil these men have come to interview. The Tasmanian devil, as he's called, is found nowhere else. And even in Tasmania, only in the most isolated parts. Through miles of virgin bush, the men trek in search of a likely place to hatch a devilish plot. The trap is prepared, a cunning device to hold him fast without hurting a hair of his tail. He's a bit of an epicure, you know, is our little night prowler. So the bait is a tasty bit of skinned rabbit, and a long, long trail is blazed to lay the scent. The savoury aroma of baked bunny is borne on the bush breeze. Well, if it isn't young Nick himself, greedily sniffing his way to the feast. Come right in, George. You'll find it on the bottom shelf. And thereby hangs a tail. Anytime you pick up a Tasmanian devil, make it a rearguard action. Because at the other end, he's got a bulldog jaw that can crack bones like peanuts. This little fellow is off to the US to be presented to the Los Angeles Zoo. The panda will have to look to his laurels. George is going to start a Tasmania.